Howdy, welcome to part four of uh, this tutorial. This part we will cover Tool, Grill, and Sapien, basically just getting the level put in game and uh, into a form that Halo will appreciate. Um, in the previous step, I forgot to uh, export the actual level, so let's do that now. Um, you're going to want to go to your Halo CE root directory, go to data. Levels, test, create a new folder in here. Um, I already did it for me because this is like the third time trying this step without my computer hopefully crashing. Um, yeah, uh, name it whatever you want your level to be named. And in there, make another folder, name it models. And uh, in there, you're going to want to save your file. Name this the same as whatever you named your folder, um, and make sure you have the Blitzkrieg model exporter dot JMS exporter uh, file type chosen down here. See, there's a whole bunch of options, but you need Blitzkrieg. Um, all right, click save, and uh, that'll export for you. You're going to want to open up Tool. Type in tool, structure, levels, test, X Wing, space, X Wing. Hit enter and it'll uh, tag it up for you. There it goes, that was real quick. And uh, there's no errors, so that's always good. And then you're going to want to open it up in Gorilla, file open tags, levels, test, you'll see I got a lot of extra stuff in here from levels I've been working on. Uh, you're going to want to open up your X-Wing scenario, uh, you're going to want to add a sky, so go all the way back up to your tags directory and uh, open up the skies folder. Um, I'm going to take uh, clear afternoon just because it's simple. Clear afternoon sky, open. This is going to be a multiplayer sky of course. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see starting equipment. Click add. If you want grenades there's your options. Uh, I'm going to go for all games. Go back up to your tags directory, items collection, single weapons, and uh, choose what weapons you want. I'm, of course, going to take pistol and assault rifle. And there's all that. Alrighty, that's all you need to do in here. So you're going to want to go to file, save. Giving it one last look. You'll see that we'll, we'll add a lot to this soon, but you won't actually have to open Gorilla back up and do it manually like that. Um, but we will have to open up Sapien. And uh, you're going to want to go to your tags directory, um, test or levels, test, and open up X-Wing, and your scenario file. Alright, super, fine, fantastic, awesome, here we go. Alright, a uh, quick lesson in Sapien navigating. Uh, you click in the middle mouse button to look around, and uh, if you want to move around, you have to use, or you have to hold in the middle mouse button and then W A S D, like how you normally move. Um, only thing is, is by default it sets your speed so super low that you don't really get to move very much. Uh, you hit s Shift to change how fast you want to move. Uh, R is up, F is down, and uh, that's all you really need to know. 
So, there's our level you can see, but it's all black and not cool looking, so you're going to want to hit tilde. Type in radiosity underscore quality and zero. Uh, zero is for test purposes, and uh, I really don't want to have to sit through a, qual or a quality of one. Um, so zero will be fine for this. Halo radiosity uh, start. And since this is zero, it'll go real quick for us. That's done. Hit tilde, hit up. Type in save. Uh, mine looks goofy because my video card sucks. But there's our level right now. Um, we need to add spawn points, flag spawns, all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to save it right now just for fun. Um, all right. First off, let's do some uh, player spawn points. Those are the easiest. There. Let's do scenery. So uh, you want to go objects, scenery, edit types, add. If you go to your Halo CE or directory, go to tags, and then in there there's a folder called scenery. And here's a whole bunch of nice scenery to use. Um, I need the flag base. So let's add that. You'll see it went down there. This is just a list of tags that we're adding to our map right now. Um, we're going to want a, a blue beacon. And we're going to want a red beacon. So, small beacon. Yeah. Well, let's grab the blue one just in case if there is actually anything different. I don't think there is, but I could be wrong. It's happened before. All right. Um, let's grab the uh, human large gap visor barricade thing. That's the uh, barricade they have in front of the flag in longest. So... There's a list of stuff I want to add to the map, so I'm just going to click Done. There it is again. Click OK. And I'm just going to right click right there. You'll notice it says None right there because we haven't added or we haven't changed what type of scenery it is yet. So in there, I'm going to click it and just change it to a flag base. And you'll see that there it pops up. We got a flag base right out yonder. Alrighty, good enough. And let's do the same over here, of course. Um, alrighty. So there's those. Um, I'm going to want to throw some barricades in front of them. So, let's change that to a barricade. And then the blue arrow is the one that rotates it uh, by the yaw. If you want to get it precise, you can change that just to. Oh, jeez. Negative 90. And then move it where I need it. And that looks good enough. Same thing over here. Ninety. Move it where I need it, and uh, looks good. Um, I'm gonna want those beacons on there just for fun. Uh, let's make this side blue. 